Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Guide. Today we're going to try to finish this wooden house we're building on this plateau. We have a beautiful view of the ocean. Uh, it's really safe because this is a really tall plateau that uh, predators can't get up onto very easily. And uh, so while we were gone, I went ahead and built some more components of this house. So I built a couple more foundations so we can have a nice uh, floor plan here. And we also built some of the walls and ceilings. So I'm going to do this in a couple of trips, but uh, we've got most of what we need here. For those of you who missed our uh, building tutorial, we're just going to drag each component of the house into the hotbar. And then we use that button to, you know, create the uh, piece layout. It'll show up highlighted in green where you're going to place it. And then when it's where you want it, you can hit square to actually apply it to that place. Now if I hit triangle, you can see it turns greener. That means the uh, outside is actually facing towards me if it looks more green. And if it looks more blue, it's facing out. I want these all to face out, so you know, it looks actually the way it should. And I've got most of what I need sitting on this parasaur because I've just been going out in the field with him and crafting things as we go and loading them up with him so it's less weight. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and apply these ceilings. I wanted a row of doors sticking out the front so in the morning I can open up all the doors and have a pretty nice view. We'll have better options for that later but uh, you know we can't even make windows right now. So let's see here. I think I'm going to run out of materials but that's alright. I can always go and gather some more. So I'm going to go and put these doors actually in the door frames. And I'll start with this one. It's going to be a little cumbersome having that parasaur right outside the door, but uh, it's much easier having him there because uh, we can just reach out the door and grab all the stuff we need. So, so we'll work with it. You can see that's overhanging just a little bit off the rock, but that's fine. So I need to make a couple more ceilings, so I'm just going to hop back in. I love that I can just jump into the water and not take any fall damage. I finally figured that out. So as long as there's no sea scorpions hanging around, we'll be alright. Just gather a little bit and uh, skip that part because that gets pretty boring. So now we've got the uh, materials we need to finish out this house. And... It's going to be hard getting around that parasaur here. That tail is really annoying. I hate how dinosaurs swing their tails. You kind of have to duck under them or get around them somehow. And now we've got our last ceiling pane. So I want to get those up just in case we uh, have any random birds show up. I always like to have a roof over my head because there's a lot of seagulls around here. And if a seagull dive bombs you, it'll steal all your food. It's a huge pain. And there we go. Every wall and every ceiling is done, and now we can open up all the doors to have this beautiful view. And this house is coming along quite nicely. So now I'm actually going to try to grab some of these storage boxes. I don't know if you remember, but uh, just uh, maybe the second episode or something, we crafted a ton of storage boxes so that we could level up quickly because they're great experience. And, I mean, we were probably like level 10 or something. But, I've been saving them this whole time because uh, they'll be really handy when we can expand our house a little bit. And this house is much bigger than the original. By now we've uh, accumulated a lot of junk, so uh, I'm going to need a lot of storage space for that. Uh, that is a beautiful view, except for the sea scorpion I can see down there. I'll have to be a little more careful of that guy. Uh, the location is perfect, but the neighbors are not so great. So I want to move a whole lot of stuff, and uh, it's way more than I can carry. I'll have to make a whole lot of trips, but instead what I'm going to do is load it all up onto myself and then throw it on the ground there. You can see uh, it's piling up like crazy, but by doing that I can throw it on the ground and actually move over next to the storage bins and then load them up into the storage bins. So, and uh, I, I think I heard something. I think 
better check that out. That could be that sea scorpion fighting my parasaurs. Oh, uh, yep. And it was, and they killed me. Okay, great. I love that you get those messages up at the top of the screen that tell you what's going on. If you ever see a big red one, that's probably one of your dinosaurs died. But uh, it's nice to know that they actually killed that thing effectively. I can't wait until I can get all my dinosaurs safely on top of the plateau more easily. Once they all have saddles, that should be a lot easier. Alright. Yeah, if those parasaurs can make it up, the raptors definitely can. So I'm going to skip a little bit and uh, go ahead and place our fire. Now that we have all the storage stuff, I've moved all of our inventory into the storage bins. And now I'm going to cook up some food because we're uh, going to start getting hungry pretty soon. You know, have a little housewarming barbecue. It's always nice. And let's see what else we need. Another thing I'm going to want to get pretty quickly is uh, I'm going to place this compost bin that I just made. Now, it's going to be a little while before we actually start farming, but compost takes a long time to actually create. You basically are just going to throw thatch and uh, droppings into this compost bin, and over a lot of time it'll turn into fertilizer. And that fertilizer is incredibly helpful. It's uh, going to make our plants grow really well, and we'll actually be able to grow our own food and grow our own narco berries, which is really great for tranquilizing plants. So, let me go ahead and grab all of the uh, manure that I've picked up over this time. I told you I had a reason for that. Just carrying it around. And uh, I'm grabbing thatch. If I remember correctly, it takes uh, three piles of manure and 50 thatch to create a uh, bag of fertilizer. So I'm just going to grab a lot of it, fill this thing up as much as I can. And we'll just leave that thing alone. It'll slowly and eventually make us some good fertilizer, which we'll be using later on. So this house is coming along quite nicely. We got our storage, we got our fire. Uh, now we're going to need a mortar and pestle. That's going to come in handy for making narcotics, which uh, will help us when we start taming things. And I'm getting kind of low on storage, so I'll probably make a bigger storage bin later on. But for now, let's see if we've got the stuff we need for that mortar and pestle. And we do. Great. I'm going to go ahead and craft that and get that on the other things mortar and pestle helps with is you can make spark powder, which uh, uses flint and stone, and that'll be helpful for making ammunition. So we've got that down, and uh, gathered some more stuff. I'm going to just go ahead and throw that torch on the ground there. You can see pretty well with the torch in the fire, so our house is coming along nicely. And yeah, great, we've got, we've got a good bit of food here barbecue went well. We're really overweight, so uh, let's see what I can do about that. I think I'm actually going to need a storage bin. I want to make a raft first thing possible, but it looks like I'm going to have to do some more collecting for that, so I think I'm going to put that a little more on the back burner. It's just going to take a good bit of time to get those materials. I really want to get a raft going, uh, especially once I can get stone, but I'm going to start by the bare essentials. So I'll make a bed here, and then I'll go ahead and make some larger storage, because we're going to make this a slightly longer term project and get comfortable in this house for a bit. And uh, since it's up on top of this plateau, I don't think any carnivores are going to be smashing it easily, so we should be pretty safe. So let me go ahead and uh, try to move some of this stuff around. Put the raft in the hot bar so I can just keep track of the materials that I need for that. Because we will definitely be going for that as our first major goal. So to place a bed, it's just like any other piece of furniture. I'm going to try to line this up where it won't be in the way of anything. I'll put it kind of close to the other items in this house. I'm going to be a little bit tighter than usual, but uh, you know we don't have a whole lot of room to spread out. So I'm actually going to name this bed, and by doing that, when you when you have a solid bed, you can actually teleport from bed to bed across you know, the entire map. When you do that, 
it will drop all of your items. So, uh, including your clothes, so you gotta be really uh, careful of that. I actually lost some really good armor that way. It's because I forgot to take my clothes off before teleporting. Note to self, that's always important. So, let me empty out this storage bin. And uh, I'm gonna try to put a large storage bin in this place. You can put 15 items in the small ones and 45 in the large ones. So, the uh, large storage bins are the way to go when you're gonna be here for a while. So, let me just get that out of the way here. And then I'm gonna use triangle and then mouse over to where it says demolish. And we'll put some serious storage in its place. So, I'm gonna try to line this up nicely along the edge. And see if I can jump up on top of these boxes to get really even. Alright, let's try this again here. And it's not going to be the ceiling's too low. Okay, no worries. We'll just place it down and then we'll rotate it from here. So square places and then we can move it around a little bit to line that up straight. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. And square again, we'll actually lock it in place. And now we have a good storage bin that we can move our stuff into. If I use those arrows there, it will transfer everything from that storage bin to my inventory. Everything I can carry, anyway. And then uh, I can use those arrows to transfer everything back into the large storage bin. It's much faster than carrying it individually. And now I'm just going to pick up the stuff that I did not want to put in there, which will be a much faster than uh, putting everything in individually. So... We have a bed, we have a mortar and pestle, which we will use for making some narcotics right away. Those will be really handy in case we want to tame something. And yeah, we have a beautiful view of this moonlight bay. It is quite a nice house. We'll see you on the next episode.